jank little moment. Make our way to the gym ward, I guess. Okay, here's Candace, and she actually has me stand next to her. Cool. So let's talk to Candace, the seventh gym leader of Sinnoh. You want to challenge Candace? Sure thing, I was waiting for someone tough. But I should tell you, I'm tough because I know how to focus. Pokemon fashion romance, it's all about focus. I'll show you just what I mean. Get ready to lose, okay? That's not very nice, but here's Candace. She, um, is really easy. She, if you have a fire type Pokemon and a flying type Pokemon, basically, you're set to go. And if it's, um, you know, of course, uh, around level 30, late 30s, early 40s, you're gonna be fine. Okay, now, Snowfire, as I mentioned before, is fire, is, uh, I almost said fire, is grass and ice type. So, um, half grass, half ice, so that means it's four times weak to fire type moves. So, I'm just gonna use a flame wheel on this thing, and it should one hit KO it, because I've had a lot of practice with Snowfire, especially in this gym, and using flame wheel, so this should knock it out. It's level 38. Let's see if it does. And there we go. Nice. Awesome. Okay. That continues to fall. Uh, in front of it gets buffed by the hail. Okay, here's a bombness. Here's a bombness snow. Again, it's the Volfo Snowfer, which I should mention it is the Volfo Snowfer. It's also grass ice, so it's four times with the fire type moves. So I'm just gonna use a um, flamethrower on this thing. I want. I don't want to risk missing with fire blast. So I'm gonna try a flamethrower to see if that knocks it out. It should knock it out, so that's at least good. And it knocked it out. Awesome. So yeah, I kind of I one shotted it with Inferno. Okay, Drago. Um, yeah, Drago. I thought Dra Drago would have gain another level, but I was wrong. Oh, and by the way, that Snowver, that first Snowver had sna Snow Warning, which makes it hail. So the battle you have to deal with hail. Okay, Sneasel's next. Okay, so Sneasel is half Dark, half Ice type. So it's actually four times with Fire type moves. So I'm gonna use a close combat on this thing. It's level 38. It shouldn't be any. It should be really easy to faint, I should say. Let's get go for the slash, okay? It's gonna be a critical hit. I knew it because it has high, the slash has a high critical hit ratio. But there goes the course combat. This should knock it out. Let's see if it does. It should. But let's see. It knocked it out, okay? So I'm one shotting all of our Pokemon, basically. So that's cool, I guess. Yeah. So Inferno's another level 40, awesome. Drago almost leveled up. I, I still have a feeling that he's gonna level up soon, but I get my hopes up and he really doesn't level up. But that's for the future, I guess. He'll level up in the future, of course. But you know, Metacham, her only Pokemon that's not an Ice type Pokemon. Um, I'm gonna switch to Karen. Because uh, Metacham's fighting Psychic, so Karen's my best bet. Because if, if I put out Bronze, then it'd be only half effective, energy effective. But if I send out Karen and use like Aerialize, it should. I could probably two shot this thing. It's level 40, okay. Now it has detect, which um makes it so it's really annoying, so it protects itself. It probably use it here. I'm just gonna use bulk up. Don't let bulk up. Don't let um the match I'm use bulk up too much time, so it can be really powerful on you. It'd be a heavy hitter, I guess, after a while, and you don't want that. So that goes there we always. I don't think I'm gonna be able to one shot this Pokemon, but we'll see. Ooh, it didn't even do. Half okay, so it'll take more than just a couple aerialists. It'll take more than that. So we're gonna have to, you know, figure out something to faint this thing. But I'm not worried. This is the last Pokemon. So worst case scenario, Karen will go down and I have to use another Pokemon. Then ah, the Force Palm. It was neutral effective. Ooh. Yeah, that's what stinks about Karen is it's half dark type. You know, when fight, when fighting those fighting type Pokemon, it can still be neutral. You can, they can still do neutral damage on Murkrow. So, it kind of stinks. So, um, I'm thinking about sending in Jetta just to surf it, I guess. I don't really want to set out. I still don't want to send out Bronze. But, um, we'll figure out something. Let's just surf then. Like, Jetta goes first, of course. There we go, a critical hit, awesome. So yeah, Candace wasn't too hard, as long as you have the right Pokemon and the type advantages, then you'll be fine, honestly. Drag a good level 31, awesome. I must say, I, won I warmed up to you, it might even be- Ah, thanks for the 10,080 Pokedollars. 
I couldn't read your dialogue fast enough, I'm sorry. <laughs> wow, you're great, you earned it, my respect. I think your focus will be bold us. I think your focus and will bold us over totally. Oh, that's right, I was supposed to give you this. Do you want to see the icicle badge from Candace? So that's pretty cool. The icicle badge, that icicle badge I just gave you, because you have it, you can use the hidden move rock climb anytime, even when you're not in battle, in a battle. Oh, and take this too. We got the TM-72, which is, uh, I think, av Avalanche, if I'm not correct. She didn't really use it in the battle, I think some of her Pokemon had it, but yeah, it contains the move Avalanche. If you use it, takes damage, the move power is doubled. Can you imagine all sorts of focus you'll need to pull it off? Yes, it's, it's crazy, man. Thanks, Candice. So now we make our way outside the gym. So yeah, let's talk to the vice giver though. I didn't t I didn't talk to the vice giver when I came in though. Darn it! Oh, Steven, you beat the gym leader. You must focus on your Pokemon picked up on it. I'm sorry, vice giver. I didn't talk to you before. I took on the gym really or when I entered the gym. Okay, Snowpoint City's Pokemon gym leader Candice. So if I train to Sam Steven.